It is the beginning of on-chain summer as Coinbase's new Ethereum Layer 2 just went live yesterday. Last bull run, we saw a battle of these Layer 1s, right? Everything from Solana, Avalanche, Phantom, Harmony, and so many more. And I believe that we are in the beginning stages of a bull run. And in this time, we're going to be looking at a battle of the Layer 2s. And with Base Chain Live, I want to talk about how to set yourself up bridge your coins from Ethereum to the new base coin, as well as talk about some projects that you should be keeping an eye on. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I am Crypto with Nick, and my goal is to share the latest alpha in DeFi strategy. And my goal today is to get you up and running on a base chain so that way you can take advantage and be early to a ton of new projects that are set to launch over the next few weeks. Be sure to check the timestamps below, hit that like button, subscribe. It helps the algorithm tremendously. And I have one big favor is that you leave a comment below on a project that you're excited about. So that way I have more things to research, but let's get into today's video. So what is base chain, right? So base chain is an Ethereum layer two, and it's an optimistic role, much similar to something like optimism or Arbitrum. See, Basechain was actually built in partnership with Optimism by building on top of its open source code, the Optimism stack. And Basechain operates just like any layer two. It's completely permissionless, meaning you or I can go to Basechain. We can launch our own token, our own DeFi protocol, or even our own NFT collection. So let's talk about how to set up our MetaMask, bridge some assets, as well as participate in this on-chain summer program. It's a multi-week program full of different gaming music and you can get some commemorative NFTs that who knows could be worth something in the future. To get started, you can come over here to something like a chain list and you can just type in the word base, which will go ahead and bring it up. And you can just, of course, click add to MetaMask, click approve and switch network. And now you have set up your MetaMask to be connected to the base chain. Next, we need to bridge some assets. And anytime I'm bridging to a new ecosystem or blockchain, I really like using the official bridge. So you'll go ahead, you'll click here, bridge assets. And what you can do then is bridge from Ethereum to the base chain. First, you have to come over here. Of course, you can connect your MetaMask wallet. And then what you can do then is select whether you're going to bridge ETH or some stable coins. But remember, if you decide to bridge something like USDC or DAI, you're going to need a little bit of ETH for those gas fees. Now, once you bridge to base chain, if you want to withdraw, it normally would take seven days. And this is standard for any kind of optimistic rollup, right? The same for Arbitrum. But what we have here is there are fast bridges enabled. So I really like using Stargate and Stargate has recently added the base chain. So you can bridge from base chain to any of these other networks, right? Very easily in just a few minutes. Now that we got our MetaMask set up and our assets bridged over, the first thing we can do is take advantage of this on-chain summer events being put together by a bunch of different projects. It's this multi-week event focused on music, gaming, and NFTs. And what we can do here for base day one is we can mint this NFT, right? It's about 0.0008. I think this is like 50 cents or so. And who knows, maybe this could be worth something in the future. But if we just start to scroll down on this page, right, we can see a ton of different projects that are participating in up and coming projects, everything from parallel coming in a couple of days, we have Coca Cola, you know, we have even things like Zorro, Pixelmall, Showtime. So a ton of different things here that you can go ahead and check out and look forward to. So now what I want to do is talk about some new up and coming projects and things that you can already do on the base chain, right? So if you come over here to the base.org slash ecosystem page, you can see here, there's a ton of different projects that are either launched already or planning to launch over the next few weeks. Of course, we have a ton of different blue chip DeFi projects that are planning to launch things like Aave, Beefy, Compound, and more. Of course, you can come over here to the gaming section and see which projects are getting ready to be launched. And finally, there's a ton of different NFT platforms, of course, getting their infrastructure ready. So if you come here to this ecosystem page, pretty much anything here I would put in the low risk category. It means to some degree they've been vetted by Coinbase and they felt comfortable listing them on this page. But one of the best tools for finding new projects, of course, is DeFi Llama. So right now in base chain as a whole, there's 53 million TVL. And if you scroll down, right, you can see top different projects that have already launched. And we'll touch on a few of them here. Things like base swap, right? The Stargate bridge I showed you that would help you bridge in and out. Of course, we have things like Sushi Swap, Rocket Swap, which is a native DEX, Beefy, Swap Base, right? And there's just a ton of different projects here. 
So one of the projects I'm actually really excited about is this project called Aerodome, which is going to be a native decentralized exchange launching on base chain. And it actually takes inspiration and is built off of Belladrum V2, which is the leading DEX over there on the Optimism ecosystem that started off as a fork of Solidity. And one of the cool things that they're doing here is they're airdropping 40% of the initial to supply to people who have locked VE Velo over on the Optimism ecosystem. So of course, there are some requirements here. You have to have a thousand VE Velo currently locked, and they're essentially going to do a snapshot and then airdrop these tokens to you. So I don't know exactly when the snapshot will be, but we do know as of August 9th on noon that the snapshot has not been taken. So I do suspect you might have anywhere between a few days to a few weeks, right? Right before go live, I'll probably do the snapshot and then airdrop those tokens. So it's nice to see a couple of the major blue chips have already launched. Of course, we have Uniswap. You can come over here and see the top pools right now. We have, looks like the biggest one is ETH and gold. Gold is a new meme coin that had launched recently. We also, of course, have Sushi Swap that already launched on Base Chain, and it as well is paying some pretty hefty APRs for this ETH Toshi pair. Toshi is the name of Brian Armstrong's cat, which is another meme coin project that has recently launched. Of course, if you come down here, you'll see some better pairs, something like ETH USDC, right? Paying around 65% APR. That's pretty good there. You also have some things like this USDC pair paying again about 69%. This is probably coming from all the different people bridging in right now, right? They need something to swap between. So this is a really good stablecoin farm pair here. We also have another blue chip balancer that has already launched, right? You can see here, it looks like we have this DAI USDC pool paying about 12% APR. That's pretty good for stablecoins. We again, you're seeing this ETH gold pair, right? About a million in TVL paying about 500% and swap fees, right? People are going crazy right now for this meme coin, maybe something to check out. There's also quite a few native DEXs that had launched right before Uniswap, Balancer, and SushiSwap were able to expand and go live. So one of the things I was looking at here was actually since swapping, it seemed pretty interesting because it is at least audited by Peck Shield, which is a well-respected auditor. It looks like right now they are paying out some pretty insane APRs, right? I mean, entirely, there's only a million in TVO locked in here. So this is definitely a high-risk project, right? So be cautious with that. It looks like they're doing this ETH synth pair paying about 2000% APR, absolutely wild. Of course, this would dilute as more people deposit liquidity, but you also have things here like this ETH USDC pair paying 150%. So maybe something to just keep your eye on. And of course, the best marketing always comes from meme coins. So here we have that project Toshi that I was showing you earlier, right? This is the name of Brian Armstrong cat, right? So recently this project had migrated liquidity to sushi swap which is why this chart doesn't really start at the bottom but we're already looking here at a 20 million market cap so obviously a premium but you know we've seen crazier things right we saw pepe go to a billion dollars we've seen doge we've seen shiba right so it wouldn't surprise me to see some meme coin come out of the base chain that would hit those kind of parabolic highs and of course the other meme coin that we came across was gold so this was just recently created right within the last 24 hours and of course it's already sitting around an 8.7 million market cap and you can see here is up about around 700 percent and that pretty much wraps it up. And of course, if you have any questions, drop me a follow on Twitter or send me a DM. I'd be happy to help you. And be sure again, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm going to be dropping a ton more alpha over the next few weeks as projects launch on base chain. But see you in the next one. Cheers. Happy farming.